You're watching 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. 30 Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Rods. Make every cast count. Hey, what's up, people? Follow me out to the barn here. I got some stuff to show y'all. No, not that. All right, so I was talking to Matt Rhodes. Matt Rhodes wants to go fishing in Destin where he lives and I said let's do it. He's affiliated with YOLO paddle boards. I've always wanted to fish off a paddle board, always, never have. He said you may need a milk crate, you may need a cooler to sit on. So I figured well, I don't really have a cooler that's stout. Teresa, we might have one for Teresa that'll hold Teresa but not me. Milk crate's pretty stout so I just went in an old shop, did this. <laughs> Check it out. Be quiet man. I had an old milk crate, right? And I just took two boards. <laughs> Screwed them, screwed them and glued them, right? And then once that dries, I'll just set this on there and I'll sit on the edge of my milk crate and I'll put my rods here. That ought to hold me for tomorrow. Where are we, Tracy? YOLO! All right, man, what's his name again? Jeff Archer. Jeff Archer. Look him up on Facebook. How long have they been here? Five years, I think. How long has he been making these boards? All right, how are you? Oh man, they, they were great. This is the mascot. Congratulations on that. This is Jeff Archer. He's our company founder. Hey guys, how are you? Nice hey to meet Jeff. you, Teresa. Ty. We carried it up the hill nice and light. Oh man, they were like, just like carrying air. Nice. You know? That Fisher board is of the bigger board, so that's it's like 12 and a half or something. Yeah. 33? 33, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Nice. Yeah, well, man. Make yourself a home. Yeah, this is my fishing section. Yeah, there we go. So this is the hammerhead? Yeah, this is the hammerhead. Um, it's 10 foot 6 by 31 inches. The technology on this board is it's a foam and epoxy core, but then it's wrapped with a thermo-molded plastic. So it's like a shield over the top of the board. A lot of things that might crack or damage in a typical epoxy board, right. this will take a lot more impact. But this will be offered in a fishing model next year as well. The nice. Same type technology. The other great thing about this technology is it's uh, affordable. You know, okay. the, uh, this board uh, with paddles, $8.95. Really? The fishing board will be under $1,000. Come on. So yeah. is it, how light is it? Uh, this board weighs 30 pounds. It's 30? So, so it's still light? Yeah, it's still light. Two pounds more than a typical epoxy of its same size, but the durability of it is, is worth those two pounds. Is this next challenge in, uh, in thermal molding, um, which we're uh, looking to do, is how do we make it as pretty as we make the epoxy right and you can see this is a basic really basic you know, we could do any color in this board but you know to get the designs like sure. the richie guts and designs and stuff like that on there so y'all do make a roto molded but the yolo yak was the first roto molded stand-up paddle board in the industry how much do those weigh and it weighs 45 pounds um it's got a catamaran bottom so it really gives it a lot of stability side to side wow. and it uh, uh, enables it to float a lot of weight. The Yak Junior is 10 foot, but the regular Yak is 1110 and it'll float an easy 340, 350 pound paddle. That's not bad on, on weight either. No, not really, especially when you start comparing to kayaks, it's gonna be a little bit more in the realm of what you're normal, uh, normally used to uh, carrying with kayaks. Mm -hmm. It's got a textured deck. Um, handle grip carry, also handles at the top and the bottom, bungee system, and live out on the dock. Oh, yeah. you know, it's got a porthole here that you can lock a bike lock through. There you um, go. And uh, just a good all around board, um, you know, especially, like I said, for those people who live on the water. Just leave them. Just leave them out there. Yeah. Go out and use it when you want to use it. That's incredible, man. Well, there you go. There's the YOLO shop and the YOLO board in Destin, Florida. We're going to go ahead and take a look at these on the water and give them a shot. And there's the famous Flea. He's a Costa Rican rescue dog and the face of YOLO. Let's go. Wow. I'm interested. Teresa and I have never fished or paddled around on a paddle board. Super excited to give this thing a try. We've got a little bit of wind. Let's see what happens. Give it a shot here in this dune lake, they call it.
Teresa is struggling with the wind cutting across the lake here. I find these things track very well. One paddle and I scoot even in this nine mile an hour breeze. Come on a little bit. We came upon a sand flat that was real skinny. So I just jumped out and walked her across. The, uh, the beach is right here across those dunes. Yeah, the beach is right there. Those are little sand hills. We go this way or this way? I'm pretty sure we go to the left. To the left? White, sugar white sand dunes in a tidal creek. I'm going to go ahead and stand for y'all. You can jump right up. We're at 33 inches wide, 12 and a half feet long. I feel very stable on this thing. We stand, we sit, we sit on the cooler. Love the ruler on the side. It feels to me like there's plenty of stability. I mean, I could even take this in the Gulf on a calm day. Paddling, standing and paddling, no problem. Killer rig, love it. Minimalist dream. And Lord knows I'm a minimalist. Most people say less is more. I say less is everything. Well, we just got back to the next lake and this came in. Holy smokes, it's looking biblical. I don't know. So I was very comfortable on this paddleboard. How did you feel about it, Teresa? Where's the picture that shows me sleeping on it? I'd say I was comfy. Well, that's not till tomorrow. Don't get ahead of me now. Oh, daggum, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, we had a blast on these. I felt like they were very stable. You had a little bit of trouble in the wind, but stay tuned. We got more coming. What happened, man? You said this was going to be a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day until now. There you go. There's the YOLO test run. Y'all stay tuned tomorrow for a full-blown bass fishing trip and a saltwater bay trip. All three of us on YOLO paddleboards. See y'all later.